Um, just an all around good guy and uh, the coach of the year, presenting him with the 2010 uh, uh, coach, coach of excellence award. Time in. <laughs> Um, 
the Saab family is here. Uh, included in the Saab family is Mel Ruth. If you don't know Mel Ruth, it's like Mr. Lancaster. Um, uh, so he's here. Um, uh, I would like to recognize Ken Watson, who's here, and thank Ken. Uh, Kenny, myself, and my brother, who's here with his wife Jess, my brother Tommy, were fierce competitors in Harrisburg in the mid 90s, uh, but we were also friends. Kenny was more, you know, knew my brother more than me, but nevertheless, we competed in football, but also basketball. And I don't know if you remember, remember the summers at Reservoir Park, you know, those summer league games. Uh, one time he crossed me over and made me fall. But also, Penny and, 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 and yeah, our friend Quincy Wilde, we were playing in our driveway, uh, and, and one of them, Quincy or Kenny, dumped the ball and broke our rim. My parents had to go by in a basketball rim. <laughs> so, uh, and I remember those days, but, but the three of us played in some of the most classic district ever Harrisburg games in the mid 1990s, so, uh, so I'm happy to see all the success that you've had. Um, so, uh, on a personal note, I'm, I'm most proud because this award focuses on education. Uh, because I think that I can easily uh, stop being a coach tomorrow and move seamlessly into a, a focus on education, something surrounding education. Uh, improving daily is something that I've committed myself to and challenged my assistant coaches to do the same. And I'm hoping that our players, our young men, see how we try to improve on a day-to-day -day basis. Essentially what we're doing is we're trying to use football to teach about life, and coaches often say that, so playing sports teaches you about life, and it's very seldom they explain how that happens. Um, I read a book called Blink, by am not, not glad about, where he talks about the head fake, which is using something that people are more interested in to teach a lesson about something else. So we use football to teach our kids about life. So we ourselves, as like coaches, use the head fake in a pen manner. Um, but nevertheless, uh, personal accomplishments or praise uh, could be a dangerous commodity. Um, and I say that because it recognizes someone for something that's been done in the past and can easily take one's attention off of what must be done in the future. Uh, uh, my favorite coach, uh, the late John Wooden, uh, once warned about uh, drinking too deeply uh, from a cup full of fame because it makes one intoxicated. Mm -hmm. And intoxicated people do foolish things. So I accept this award humbly, but, but also know at the same time that, that I've got to move forward to the 2010 school season or school year and football season. Um, uh, so with that, I think finally what I'd like to do is dedicate this award to public education in general. Uh, my knowledge of public schools uh, learned through 10 years of working at the most urban and rural school districts in Lancaster County, plus the exercises of, of this evening, um, impressed upon me the idea that uh, public education is, in essence, what my hero in history, William Howard Day, calls the People's College, meaning that public education is meant to uh, benefit all people. Um, uh, it's it's not supposed to uh, empower the elite or uh, recognize someone because uh, you know just that they're well off in society or discriminate based upon racial distinction or socioeconomic circumstance. Um, but instead, public education is supposed to be the crowning point or what I call the apex of society. Um, it recognizes all people, uh, whether high or low, uh, rich or poor, male or female. And I think the Chris Wilson Foundation, and Chris is committed to public ed education, improving literacy, uh, proves that, that this foundation, Chris himself, are committed uh, to the idea that based upon how one is born, uh, to the circumstances that they're born into, or things that they can't control should matter when it comes to public education. So uh, I thank God and I thank all of you, Chris Hanker.